A new trailer and poster have been released for David Cronenberg's Map to the Stars. The film stars Julianne Moore, Mia Wasikowska, Robert Pattinson, and John Cusack, and is described as a tour into the heart of a Hollywood family chasing celebrity, one another, and the relentlessness of ghosts of their pasts. Amy Rose, buy or sell the new trailer and poster for Map to the Stars. Could we do a collective? Yes! Bye! <laughs> Bye! Yeah. I mean, Cronenberg's all I really needed to hear, mm -hmm. and then Julianne Moore, who's one of the best. I would say she's up there with Meryl Streep. She's yeah. finally going to get her Oscar this year, if I had to predict. And then you throw all these other amazing actors in there. Robert Pattinson, if you haven't seen The Rover, see it, because he mm. can act. And Mia Wasikowska, I think is she's one of the best of this mm -hmm. generation of young stars. Mm -hmm. I, everything she does, from yeah. Stoker, I mean, Alice in Wonderland, even though I didn't love the film, she brought this vulnerability and yeah, essence, she's and she's going to be dark and twisted and mm -hmm. amazing in this. So I love the premise. I love how relevant it is to Hollywood and to the interest intricacies and madness behind the scenes, especially with families. And I just think with Cronenberg's style and vision attached to this, it's going to be one we really remember and one that's probably going to be very provocative and haunting. So I am thrilled. Mary? Yes, I am thrilled to, as well to, to, <laughs> ma to mimic Amy Rose here. I'm thrilled. Um, you know, I'm a fan of Cronenberg and I know, you know, he's had some missteps. <coughs> Cosmopolis. He's had, he's had I didn't some, mind it. I didn't mind it either. He's had some missteps. He's done some things, but he's an, a true auteur. He has a real vision he has a real voice Canadian and he and you know he did like John tests. Canadians I know. cannot we help have it. to give each other props it's, it's we have to do it but he did Videodrome and The Fly and he's done movies that have become become iconic and excuse me have um completely like changed the genre that they're in mm -hmm. in many ways and so I'm really excited to see him tackle what seems to be almost like a surreal neo-noir like yeah. this is the, this is a takedown of Hollywood it's a takedown of celebrity culture and like you said, Wasikowska looks so oh, creepy and and yeah. and dangerous. And and Julianne Moore has this wonderful, elegant vulnerability that's very raw and very shredded, but also very elegant and refined at the same time. And she looks so beautiful she in this. this. She doesn't age. No, she's she's amazing. She's and and I I just I'm really excited for this film. I think living here and working in this industry particularly makes me interested in this subject matter yeah. because living in Los Angeles, you come across people like Julianne Moore's character all the time. People who just want to be famous. People who just want to be heard and validated mm -hmm. and it has that Cronenberg dark twist Ooh, and yeah. I'm, I'm so excited for Me this too. movie. Yeah I'm really excited and I like that the trailer shows more of what the plot is about. Mm -hmm. yes. It also shows more of the tone and it's I first I was thinking that this might be more of a satire but it definitely looks like a thriller. It's yeah. mm -hmm. very dark and disturbing. I love Cronenberg as yeah. well. He's such a brilliant director. Yes. <laughs> always has a unique vision whether it works or not. Yeah. Yeah. I think he always brings something new to the table. Yeah, absolutely. And this film played at the Cannes Film Festival. Julianne Moore won the Best Actress yeah. Prize there, and she's nominated for a Golden Globe yeah. for this performance as well as Still Double. Ellis. Double, yeah. She is amazing. Mm -hmm. I like seeing John Cusack back in this kind of Massaging movie. Massaging her. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, really? Okay. What a role that will be for And him. Robert Pattinson, I'm on board. Me I mean, I thought even though some people didn't like Cosmopolis, I liked what he did with that. Me too. Yeah. And I really liked him in The Rover as well. And yeah. then Mia Vashkowska, she's always Ugh. great. And she went to my school. In Canberra. Australia. What is it? What are you Aussies? Right now. <laughs> no, no. But can we just say for the record that the Aussies are like mega talented? I don't they know are. what. Think about all the. Uh, I don't even have yeah. to name them. There are so many. <laughs> It's uh, not to like, you know, blow smoke, but really there's something going on in the water in Actually, Australia. You Ashley guys spoke like... to one of the most renowned ones yesterday, didn't you, Ashley? Oh my goodness, I did. It was like intimidating, but exciting. Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman. Yeah, I'm, I'm hearing great. that that performance in Paddington is like one of her best in years, by the way. Can't wait. Side note. <laughs> hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news as well as our daily AMC movie talk show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.